special spot today. We're in an area A in a town called Naples, but we're somewhere else. But I, before I get into where we are, I want to introduce Daniel. Daniel will tell you your full name and a little bit about where we are actually. Okay. Hello, welcome to Nablus, to Jacob's Well. My name is Bishara Sahwani Daniel. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are touring in special places, especially in Palestinian uh, territory, Area A, that we have uh, the church, the Orthodox Church here, uh, which is called Jacob's Well. Very special. And what is special about Jacob's Well is that we know for absolute fact that Yeshua, Jesus, was here. Uh, of course. Uh, yes. But yes. so he's going to so take us downstairs, right? We're going downstairs. But before, this is the place where Jesus met the Samaritan woman. Uh, on his way from Jerusalem to Galilee or from Galilee to Jerusalem and uh, this place where from Jacob's time that he put, punched his uh, tent and he digged the well here and also as uh, Joseph here right. and Well because so it was a major trade route uh, for Egypt so that's why they think that Joseph was traded here by his brothers because it was a major trade route trade route and this is where they would have came the Egyptians would have taken him from yes. here right yes Joseph, and yeah. it was called we have to remember that it was called Sukhar right right it, okay. that's how that's quoted in Genesis uh, 3 or 33 it, that's what they called it in Genesis 33 yeah, yeah so yeah and they have to leave it here right. after the the accident that happened here when his two sons of Jacob right. uh, Levi and Shaul, uh, Shimon, right, I right. think that they killed here, and they have to leave the city because of that. Okay. Which, which was a Canaanite city. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's go look. Okay. Of course, they do the prayer right when we come down here. Oh, wow. Yay! I've always wanted to come here. Amazing. Ah. What I love about this place, not only is it 4,000 years old, where Jacob did the well here, and everybody since then has watered their sheep and their goats from here, but Jesus was here. They think of all the places in the Bible, this is probably one of the most absolute places that Yeshua was because of the history and the layers of the, uh, of the church. You know, archeology span proves truth. So this was Byzantine and then the Crusaders, like you said, but we know this is where Jesus was with the Samaritan woman. And when Jesus asked her to give him a drink of water, she said, the well is deep. And you know, the well is 151 feet deep. And he said, you don't have anything to draw from. And he says, the water I offer you is living water. It's not just regular water. But how do we get living water? You know, sheep can't get in here and drink. Only the shepherd can feed a sheep water, living water, which is the Holy Spirit which is feeding us for eternal life. So that's why I love this story. I've always wanted to come here because it shows us eternal life through Christ alone. And I just love that part of the story that we're sitting and standing at an actual place of our Lord. I mean, do you love this place? And this is one of my favorite places is here. It really? Especially for me that I 
yes. can come here very often here. It's amazing. And just the history alone and standing here is just really, really special. And the mosaics are really special also that they have throughout the church, which I'd like sure. to show you too. Yeah. It's especially we can see how deep also this well, and you can see, you can listen how many seconds until we get the water down deep the well. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, that right there is an amazing story. So that is beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love that. Yeah, especially this, the, this place is related, related to the biblical time, the Old Testament, to the New Testament. Jacob, Jacob was here, he, uh, his children was here. After this accident, uh, Shimon and uh, uh, Levi have to leave and he keep it with the Canaanite. And then the kingdom was uh, split between the north part kingdom and the, low, and the, uh, and the southern one uh, kingdom. Was this and like the tribe of Manasseh, or what do they call it? Uh, yes, yeah, yes, that's tribe of Manasseh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then came back uh, with uh, the Assyrian tried to, co uh, uh, to conquer the city here, okay. and they succeed. Uh, Shaul, Saul, tried to conquer the city, but he failed right. until King David came, and he succeeded mm -hmm. to, uh, to conquer Jerusalem from... Uh, from the Canaanite here. Wow, the history just here alone is unbelievable.